Um, let's use a chart. Let's create a chart that uh, Daniele likes to use. Actually, I don't personally like to use this chart, but let's do it. Um, and this is going to be our. So we'll have to, uh, like previously, we're going to want to create our source chart. Again, so simply this time, actually, I'm instead of duplicating, I'm just going to take this five tick because I'm going to be using this five. I'm, I'm going to be recreating a new five tick from a duplicate with all our studies on it when it's done. So um, let's create our correlations chart. And we want to do that. We want to change this back into a time based chart. Uh, 400 days low, that's fine. We're going to change it to a time based chart. Blah, blah, blah. Let's change it to a three minute chart. I like three, the magic number. Trying to change it to an intraday, it's already on intraday. Our times are good, everything is set from this guy. We have our candlestick bars, yes. Perfect. So we are going to call this our correlations source. S O U R C source. Sounds good. Correlation source, ES correlation source. Let's see, ES, ES correlations source. And let's go to uh, everything, double check it in here, blah, blah, blah. Perfect, advanced settings. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we set it to a line chart. It's nicer to see. Line on close. And. Good to go. Perfect. Yeah, we can change the color uh, later. So let's do I make it dark. Do I make it bright? I'll leave it on this as a bright chart for now. Um, b -b 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 well, I won't. I okay. Uh, let's leave it on as a as a as a line chart. All right. So let's create another one of these. Actually, so we're noting this is chart number two. I leave this. I leave this on actually as the, the, the correlations chart, and I'll just duplicate another one of these guys. I'm gonna come down, duplicate chart. Bring this guy over here for a minute. So this is going to be this is going to be our correlation chart. Stick it up here if you wish or wherever you wish. So this actually, I'm gonna put it back. I'm just gonna call this the correlations chart. It's going to be the correlation. I'm just going to turn this guy off. Let's go to F5 again. Sorry, wrong one. F6. Make it easier. Let's go with F6. Let's make it bigger as well. Now that I notice it. Settings. Let's chart chart overlay. Let's leave this as the two. So it's not applying across each of. Okay, apply. Uh, subgraphs. We want the name. We want to make it slightly bigger. Apply. It's better. Okay. I'm going to make it darker. And we can save that then. Okay, apply. I'm gonna make I can leave it green, but I'm gonna make the chart background. Okay, let's go to chart settings, chart graphic settings. Let's go with the let's go with the dark background for this guy. I think it looks a bit better. Apply, chart background, let's go black. Black, let's have a look. A better, okay, perfect. And let's I'm gonna turn off. I'm gonna turn off the Fact. Let's turn off the. There we go. Chart settings. Chart settings. Again, graphic settings, and we want the trade last trade price box. Let's turn this guy off. Make it black. There we go. Apply. Ah, it's darkened out. But that's fine. Okay. We only need it for the correlations. There we go. Okay. Ah, we can leave it. Okay. None. Actually, transparent. Okay. Chart. Graphic settings. Trade price box. Let's see. Can we enable it? Okay, okay. Let's disable and apply. Okay, that's better. There we go. Okay, okay. And let's let that scale automatically. Huh? Let's go automatic on that guy. There we go. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so. That's that guy set. Next, let's just, we don't need the source chart for this. We're just gonna rename this guy. So we're gonna open this guy first. That's open here, so we go to F5. F5, let's go to advanced settings. So yes, what do we call this guy? Correlation source. Let's call this NQ. Let's change this one to NQ. 
and Q correlations chart. Okay, back to main settings. Let's go in here and get a find symbol. Let's find the NQ. NQ. Enter. Oh, I'll find first. Come on, thank you. Here we go. June. Okay, apply. Okay, apply. Okay, perfect. Line on close. Perfect. Okay. Let it load. Okay, so this is better. So we have our NASDAQ source chart. Perfect. Let's minimize this guy. Minimize and now we go back. We do another study F5, F6. So this isn't is this overlay isn't necessary unless you want this identifier. I, I like that little identifier in here for ES. That's the only reason we did that additional study. So we just go to add. Now we're going for the NQ here. I'm going to change the price. Let's change the NQ to pink. Uh, okay, the solid one name label, value label, NQ for this guy, NQ, NASDAQ. Uh, let's go to our settings again. We want our price chart from this was number Six if I'm not mistaken There we go and Q number six Now we go apply we make sure oh chart region is set to one apply um, Let's make the line a bit bigger subgraphs line one apply. Okay, that's better. Thank you and uh, Yes, there we go apply. Okay apply, okay there we go. Now we have our correlations all working together. I like it. Perfetto. Okay. So next, we want to add what's the NQ? Yes, let's try the Russell. Let's add the Russell. So we create a new chart. Let's duplicate this NQ one again. Duplicate chart. Bring it up. Big F5. And we can do this for an you can do this for an uh, inverse correlation as well if you wanted to like with gold or the dollar or any of those additional uh, you could create an opposite the bonds you could create you know an inverse inversely correlated assets the exact same way I'm not going to do that just to get into it uh, not to go too deep so R R Q or R Y R Russell R T Y R T Y Russell R T Y uh, Again, everything is fine here. Main settings, we want to go back in here. RTY, find, there we go. Apply, get options, okay, that's fine, I had it right. Apply, okay. Again, this is our source, RTY source, perfect. Bring this guy over here, we don't need it. Minimize, minimize, down you go. Oh, have I, just to double check, just to double check that our um, F5, make sure that all our charts are, yes, automatically roll over. Okay, okay. They're going to roll over. Let's minimize this guy. Minimize. Bring him down here in line. Keep it all tidy. This is our Russell correlation. So now we just want to add our Russell correlation in here. Here's our, okay. Let's see. F. Six overlay another one, add settings. Um, let's make it blue, blue for the Russell. Why not? One, two, name label, value label, Russell R U or R, R T Y. Let's keep it, let's keep it same, keep it same. RTY, name label, value label, price overlay, settings, you want to make it one, damn, what was our chart number, it must have been seven, seven, apply, there we go, oh, we want a name label, RTY, yes, 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 apply, apply, okay, apply, Okay, let's control X, just have a quick look at this guy. Why is my NQ, my ES not showing? Ah, they're behind the, they're all in the same place. Okay, they're all beside each other. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Anyways, control Alt R. 
we have it all in here. Let's just, 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 I just want to double check this ES1 settings. Label, name label, perfect. Okay, they are supposed to be there, it's fine. They are they, on top of each other. Okay, that's okay. Okay, apply there. They're moving in sync. Lastly, the last index we could add, I suppose. Let's just copy this guy, duplicate, bring it over here, and uh, open it up. Maximize, Control Alt R, minimize ish F5. Let's go to our advanced settings. Let's go to our. What is the. Let's go back and add it first. It's in. Y. Let's find Y. Find it's Y. Y something, I think. Okay. Y. M. If I remember rightly, let's see, come on, jump out, jump out, where is it, why, 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 oh, why do I not see it, let me see, enter here, find, um, that's strange, the Dow, mm, come on, just have to find it here, um, Ah, why and bloody hell, sneaking in here, all hiding in by itself. Here we go. Dow Jones Industrial Average Mini Seabot June apply about time. Okay, so Y M hmm. Y M oh Y M is what we're looking for, and everything else remains the same. We've identified it. Yes, Y M. Okay, main. Apply, we'll get there, we'll get there. Here we go. I am minimize source number eight. Uh, minimize, perfect. The last one, we'll make this yellow or something, or red maybe. F6, same again. Overlay settings. Let's go with red, yellow, yellow, doesn't really matter. Okay, yellow. Okay. Name label, value label, YM. Nope. YM. And <clears throat> chart to overlay number eight. Boom. Apply. Oh. Region one. Apply. And let's make it a bit bigger. Size two. Apply. Okay. Alrighty, there we have a nice indices correlation chart with the NQ insignia being the dominant one here. If we stretch it right out here, we'll see the rest of them all behind here like that. And let me, it's on the three minute chart. Let me just make it bigger for a minute and let's see them all stretched to make sure that we are running. Yes, yes, Russell. Okay, they're all populating on there. Perfect. Excellent. Control Alt R return. Maybe if I take it off that automatic now. Constant range. That might work a bit better. No. Independent range. No. Automatic is the easiest one. Let's see them all in there. Anyways, there we go. We have our correlations chart. And you can squeeze it up as you wish. So, done. Right. Another one bites the dust. Where is that? YM. Okay, let's leave it in line with this guy. There we go. So, do not delete, do not delete. Russell, that is a correlations chart. Um, you can do the same for inverse correlations. You can do as you wish. Again, personally, I don't, I don't like using this chart, so I like to yeah, minimize it off my chart book just to show you how to make it how to cross reference charts etc 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 so let's leave that guy tucked in nice and neatly there and continue on this journey right <laughs>